Welcome to my living room. If you haven't seen my first video on the initial setup and tour, you can check it out here on my channel. I've paired the A80J with the PS5 along with a few fixings, and it has been amazing to say the least. Despite nothing being wrong, there always seem to be some upgrades or tinkering to be done. So let's get into it. This first update is an obvious one. I've been searching a long time for the perfect TV mount, and to no surprise, the best mount is also the most expensive. Why did I choose a Sony Ultra Slim mount? For obvious reasons, it's slim. This mount by far has the lowest minimum wall distance at less than one inch, sturdy and well built from what I can see. The most prominent feature is the ability to hold 77 pounds and still be able to extend and turn while still able to retract to an ultra slim distance. The only downside is that it does not tilt. Before mounting to the TV, there's something I need to install first. I had previously installed the Govi DreamView T1 TV backlight system that synced to your TV content. It was great, but not without flaws. Govi has now released their new and improved T2 TV backlight with several upgrades. Immediately when you open the box, the first thing I notice is how stylish and sleek the camera now looks. With a dual camera design for better accuracy, it is noticeably much bulkier, but it shouldn't be an issue. The light strips are much more densely packed at double the number of LEDs compared to the previous version. This means it will produce a brighter and more immersive experience. I will get to the features in a later part of the video. I've been wanting to install a feature wall using wood slats for a long time now. Now companies like Wood Veneer Hub has made it quite easy with their kits. These slats come in panels of 25 inches wide and 8 feet tall approximately, which means I need to cut it down to fit the wall space I plan on using. I chose a natural walnut style here with no coating, which I may do later in the future. Although I agree they are not cheap, they are by far more practical, saves tons of time, and includes a backing which improves sound absorption. I decided to use it as an accent at the corner of the living room wall above my cabinet, creating a border around the TV. This only requires a couple of slats, a very small addition that can make a huge impact. I also had some extra wood panels from Ikea from my office makeover that I use as a base which kind of makes this reverse waterfall look and also leaves room for wiring. In addition, I'm also adding a light bar on the wall slats for added practical effects. I wanted to keep the look minimal by using only one light on the wall while having the other one tucked away. I'm going to briefly go over some of the accessories I added, including the new ultra fast Wi-Fi 6E wireless mesh system from TP-Link. Even without any 6E device, the benefit is that I can get lightning fast speeds on my secondary mesh routers on the 6E backbone. Dbrand also sent their version 2.0 dark plates, which I just love. It includes a side vent for airflow and removing the sharp corners, making it look more seamless. Other accessories include these very cool anti-slip silicon controllers from Play Vital and a set of well-crafted wooden controller stands with a magnetic quick connector from Etsy. 
I can make an entire video about the accessories alone, but for now, I will just leave links for each of these down below. Govi has recently added a new feature which allow you to sync all of your Govi lights for full immersive experience. Watching a movie, playing music, or anything really. With the TV mount fully retracted, you can see it sit snug against the wall pretty well. The drawback however is that the backlights seem a bit too smothered being so close to the wall. Even then, I can see that the colors here are noticeably more vibrant and accurate compared to the previous gen. In order to get a better feel, I decided to move the TV out just a bit, giving the backlight a bit more space to breathe so that it has a soft bloom. For the best color calibration, I keep the saturation low and color balance on the cool side. For more details on calibrating these light strips and anything Govi, Mr. Tech has a great channel with lots of videos and lots of good information. I really love this look and the effects that it gives. I can see that some will find this a bit too distracting. There are often times where I would just turn off the wall light or keep it at a low glow. You can also adjust the angle to point it side to side which is a nice touch. But for gaming or times when I'm feeling adventurous, I'll probably let it go on full blast. You might have noticed I've decided to go with a no sound bar setup for now. I've not yet decided on one and I'm liking this clean open space look. Adding all these lights to your setup can give a bit of a cold vibe, which is why it's important to balance it off with some warm wood tones. And the great thing about it is you have the option of switching off LEDs whenever you feel like. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I'll see you next time.